so um All right, I'm just going to start off by saying anybody who I don't know, uh, like, an actual person, anybody that I don't know in person will probably not know anything I'm, I'm talking about throughout this whole video. So if I don't know you, like, an actual, like, if I don't know you in person, then there may not be really a point to watching this video unless you want to know like what the big old reveal is. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna get right into this. For one, like before I actually get into the story though, I apologize to all of the people. But uh, yeah. So anyway, um. About 10 years ago, when I was in second grade, um, I kind of made up this whole thing um, with a beam war. Like, there was this whole thing that. I kind of had just made, um, or it started as something small of just people that like really were annoyed by each other that eventually turned into like people dying. And I didn't think it would ever get as far as it did. And I didn't think as many people would fall for it. Alright, well, I just got interrupted again as usual, but we'll just keep on going here, so, um, yeah, so, how this whole thing really began was, um, so in second grade, like I said, like, that's where I kind of made the whole thing up, but it was initially, like, it was said to have been started uh, when I was like back in kindergarten, um, actually no, it was it was like the year before that. Um, I remember I s like second grade. Like the whole story was I was walking to school one day and when I got into the school I believe I was late and somebody had shot me in the ass with a BB and pretty much from there like the story went on to saying after that I had gotten like, there had been other people that have had the same uh, problem, like just people shooting them for no reason, and it basically started this whole war. Um, that's, that's kind of like how this whole thing began. And over the course of 10 years, I got more and more people involved in it. Um, About, I think, fourth grade, uh, I got Chris, uh, I started to get Chris involved in it, and, um, I'm not too sure if he ever actually bought it, but he sure, uh, sure played along with it pretty well, um, And he actually, he's, he's been playing along with it the whole time, but uh, we were actually talking about me making this video, uh, I think about two days ago, and 
Like, he actually did mention, like, there were times when he actually did get shot, and there were weird things that had to happen. So, it's not 100% fake, but it has nothing to, like, when we were getting shot, it had nothing to do with the whole BB war. It was just people being stupid with BB guns, so. Um, yeah, so, for the first few years, it was really only Chris, and I had gotten my first BB gun, um, which is like a regular, uh, I think, Stinger pistol gun. I don't know. Um, so, at about that time, I had been bringing my gun around a lot. Um, and I started getting more people I knew, um, more into the whole BB War situation. And it was, it was mostly known when I was in about 6th grade. So, like, the first four years were kind of just, like, okay, whatever. But when I hit about 6th grade, things started to get really serious. Like, um, I had a friend named Trinity and a friend named Jacob, uh, which lived just barely up the street from me. And... They, like, it seemed that they completely, like, believed the entire thing. And if any of you are watching this, again, I apologize. But, uh, it, it was much harder getting them to believe it because, like, I had been getting so many BBs, finding them around the neighborhood and such. And it also convinced uh, most people that the BBs had like specific uh, little abilities, like uh, see-through BBs have like little acid bombs in the center, so if it broke, it like burn a hole through your skin or something. Uh, blue BBs uh, would never stop moving until it hit something, so it would just go in infinite loop until it finally hit something. Uh, black BBs, usually when you found them, um, it meant that you were more more than likely about to die. It was just like a bunch of made-up stuff like that. And people actually believed it, so... I had gotten uh, one of my friends, a Colton, into it, and we were always like messing around with guns. And... He actually, like, I don't know, like, it's it's hard to tell if anybody really believed it, except for a few people. And they're like, there was always just BBs everywhere. Um, it, it wasn't really that hard, but, like, for some people, what I had to do was act like people were shooting. So I had a bunch of spare BBs, like, that I had found around the neighborhood or something. And I would like throw them at cars or just something nearby that uh that would make like a loud enough noise for them to think it was just a BB. So like uh, throwing BBs at cars or garage doors, stuff like that. And it it became very easy to troll doing that after a while. And the fact that I had already held it up for four years was like, ah, I was just kind of wondering how long I was going to be able to go. And whenever they, like, told their parents, I was just like, like, most of the time I was like, no, if, like, because I knew that they would probably call the cops or something. I was like, no, if you call the cops, they'll just, like, blow us up and kill us all, like, just like that. And what was funny is that they believed that and didn't think at all is like why don't they just do it like right now why won't they just drop a bomb on us and get it all over with it was never questioned and yeah <laughs> it, it really did work and if if that wasn't the case then I would just be like they stopped shooting because there was an adult there, and they knew they'd probably get in trouble for it. 
and everything I had said they had believed. So it was like anything I could possibly add on that wasn't too far fetched they believed and it would just make this like whole trade much bigger than it was to begin with. So as on like points like that I started like coming up with people having these upgraded super builds up high tech guns like freaking modifying nerf guns like that giant stampy nerf gun like modifying it into a freaking minigun and just like BB grenades and all sorts of crazy things and eventually got to the point like it, it started to become too much uh, I got so many people involved with it and I kept buying more BB guns and it was just like like it, it became so much like too easy to fool someone but at the same time like you had to be careful because you can't just like throw a BB out there like no problem like you have to make sure no one's looking you have to make sure you do it stealthily because you don't like want them to like see your shadow throwing it or like hear your uh, arm movements or something so it was a really stealthy thing and you had to make sure you did it right it's perfect time perfect place and everything and I managed to hold it hold off doing this for 10 years and now I'm making this video but every place I went there was more people being add on to this um, I even tricked my uh, ex-girlfriend uh, you guys may not even know who she is but uh, Angela I've probably mentioned her in pe uh, previous videos more or so around like 2014 2015 um, yeah, was, I had made her very much believe that we were in like serious danger there's always people around like shooting at me shooting at anybody who was like my friend and who they saw me hanging out with and such and at the school of starshine you guys may have seen it from my videos like a few uh previous videos like uh i think f yeah the fourth of july from this year we were at starshine um I think there was a previous 4th of July, there was also a New Year's Day. Um, it's pretty much like a tradition now for at least me to go down there on the 4th of July or New Year's to just go shoot off fireworks and like watch other people's fireworks and stuff. So yeah, it's uh, it, it came to the point there though, like I I really didn't know how I would even pull this off and I did manage to pull it off but while uh, we were actually still going to school there I had made it seem like people were behind the wall area uh, shooting BBs at the school and shooting, pe shooting people while uh, school was in session and stuff like that but what was actually odd about it is that there were BBs that did occasionally appear in the field and it wasn't like me laying them down or just like somebody I knew and it was a smaller school of course so it was like I pretty much knew everyone there um yeah so at that point I had almost convinced the headmasters of the school to let me bring a BB gun to school with me to pretty much make sure that everything was safe there and I was so damn close he actually considered it and I was like if I can bring my BB gun to school it's just like yeah <laughs> but uh unfortunately I didn't uh, I wasn't able to bring it to school um, I don't know, so, anyway, yeah, that was past the whole Starshine era, um, 
through eighth grade, pretty much all the school years after that, it had nothing. Like the BB War was n like never mentioned after that. Um, at least at school, like at friends' house, yeah, it was still very commonly mentioned. Everyone that I had told, just like, it was everything I said, like, added on to it. And it was just like, they, they didn't not believe me. And by the time I moved to the place I was at before here, I got uh, two new friends by the names of Ricky and Steven that, uh, you guys may have seen them from the Jack and Juniors 4. Um, they probably fell for it more than anyone else, and they were so much involved in it too. It was just like, day in and day out, it was like, every single time we saw each other, it was like, dude, we got shot by BBs last night. Uh, I I kind of knew at some points they were faking it, but other times it's like yeah, like, you know, like they were seriously into it, and it it kind of got to the point where it's a bit too far. But they eventually got kicked out of those apartments. So, and everyone that I had really knew there as a as like a real friend. Uh, had moved, <clears throat> as well as all the people from my first house. So, Chris was really the only one left. And I'm not sure if he ever really believed it, except for like when it was like still starting, but uh, yeah. <laughs> So, past that point, I had moved here, I don't know anybody here, and, like, just a little bit before we moved here, I was hanging out with somebody by the name of Mackenzie, and with her and all of her friends, they are like, really the only people I hung out with for the last week or two that I was there. And, um, you may have seen a picture of her on my Instagram, um, she pretty much just, like, kind of demanded me that I posted that, so, but, um, yeah, like, they were really the only people I hung out there, or hung out with there, and I never really told them about the war, like, it, it was brought up at times, but it was never, like, a serious thing with them. Um, but yeah, I, pretty much ever since I moved from there, all the people moved from there, I haven't really had anyone to keep this BB War thing up with, and of course I could have just never made this video, I could continue it as a mystery, continue it on to more people that I meet in the future, but it's not really, there's not really a point on keeping it up anymore, I don't think there ever was a point in keeping it up in the first place, I really just did it as a troll and just wanted to see how long I could keep it going, and sure enough, I kept it going for 10 years, so, uh, I may mention names to apologize to. I want to start off with Chris because he's been the one involved in this the longest. And as I said before, there were times that were real, but it had nothing to do with the whole story of how this thing started. And also, I want to mention that there were a lot of times I had made it out 
to be much worse than it was. As in people dying every day, hundreds of squad members being killed, freaking bombs going off everywhere. And I had always mentioned that there were so many squad members, but none of them were ever seen because they weren't real. So, I do apologize for that. Um, there's also, uh, as I had mentioned, Jacob, Trinity, um, Colton. I'm not sure if his brother ever really got into it, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, in case so, Preston, um, Steven, Ricky, uh, Bryson, I, I'm not really sure, like, there's, there are other people, uh, one person I will not apologize to, though, is Angela, for reasons that will remain anonymous. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to get into that story. Uh, if you guys want to hear that, I may tell you, but it's it's pretty dark, at least towards the end of it. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to, if you guys want to hear that story, then I will at least consider it. Um, there. Are there are a lot of people I uh, really made worried over the last couple of years, and I do sincerely apologize for that. I didn't think it would ever get as far as it did. I didn't think it would ever get as bad as it did. I didn't think I'd take it as far as like people dying every day, friends like. I don't know, it's just, I, I, never, I never thought it would go as far as it did. So, so all the people, if I'm forgetting anybody, I apologize for forgetting you. I just, I have bad memory. But, <sighs> well, that that is pretty much it. Um, if you guys want to know the reason why I made this video, um, I had mentioned in a stream that I did, it was like last night or the night before, um, I had mentioned that there was comments appearing in my videos saying, is it over? And that's what people were referring to. So. Yeah, uh, they, were, they were pretty much asking if the war was over. So, there you have it. <laughs> I'm kind of expecting this video to get uh, some dislikes on it, mainly from the people that were a part of this whole thing. I also very much apologize to all the parents that I put this through. <laughs> um, Oh, also, there's, uh, Autumn, she, uh, she was probably most afraid of the whole situation, didn't really want to go outside, um, I don't really have any more names in my head at the moment, but, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I never really thought I would get as far as it did, so, with that being said, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to join the Apollyon squad. Um, hopefully you guys don't hate me for this, <laughs> but in the meantime, I'll see all you guys in the next video. Peace. You guys notice something? Still not wearing a shirt. Get the streak going. Me wearing a shirt is as rare as a shiny Pokemon. <laughs>